edition of Jeremy's infamous power rankings. What's our topic this week? Well, Jason, we have gone sports-related topics so far with every power rankings, and we've talked about the Super Bowl all podcast long, so I thought it was perfect time to go completely veer to the left and yes. do a 180. Yes. Tonight is the 26th season premiere of South Park, uh, one of my favorite shows of my entire lifetime, and it got me thinking back to the nostalgia era of 90s cartoons. So the power ranking today, ladies and gentlemen, I yeah. hope everyone... Dig back to your childhoods. Dig back to your memory banks. What are your top five favorite cartoons from the 90s? I'm being specific about that time frame. It's when you grew up a little bit. I grew up a little bit in that era. So Definitely. at different times, different cartoons hit certain ways. So I'll kick us off. Obviously, there's no right or wrong answer. I like uh, Normally, we come in with power rankings, and it's detailed stats that we you and I look it. up. This is it. Yes, th there's no stats with this. But number five. What do you got? Doug Funny, man. I loved Doug Funny. Him and he had the crush on Patty Mayonnaise for years. He had the rival with Roger Klotz. And then it showed you good friendship with him and Skeeter, Skeeter Valentine. And then he had his dog Porkchop. So everyone loved the Doug Funny. I think he was junior high school. So yeah. good times with Doug. Great show. Yes. Early 90s when I was more of a kid, like five, six, seven year old. Rugrats. They were my first favorite show. Tommy Pickles. Like, you could not hate on Tommy is Pickles. Is that number four? Rugrats? That's number four. Okay. Rugrats is four. Tommy Pickles, Chucky Finster, Phil and Lil. Like, the four of them just learning how to be a baby used to be so good. Bro, and they got into some wild adventures. I still remember, like, when they were in, like, Imagination that they were in, like, this wild, wild west one yeah. when they are at the park. For some reason, that yeah. one sticks in my head, dude. I don't know and why. It was, like, the little kid and then the, the shadow yeah. above the head. Great yeah. memories there. Totally. Number three, and as you can see, I'm kind of a Nickelodeon kid. Some kids were Cartoon Network kids. Some mm -hmm. kids were Disney. Number three, Hey Arnold. I Hey Arnold was so good growing up in movie he football in, head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, who was it? Helga G. Pataki, the yep. girl that had a crush on him that he was all that was always rude to him. His friends Harold and Stoop Boy, Stoop Kid. He's afraid to leave the Stoop. <laughs> Everyone remembers those iconic stoop kid. Guests. Yep. But just like how, if you remember. Arnold didn't have a mom and dad, and he had to live with his grandparents in, like, a boarding house with all kinds of other people. He had people. the most bitchin' bedroom of all Up time. Top, Dude, oh, Arnold's wow. room was straight pimp, man. And then Arnold was going to be yes. getting it when he got to high school. Yes, great. I need to see that. If, <laughs> I want to hey, see Arnold, Arnold in, in high, high school. school. <laughs> if he did anything with the hair. He always wore a kilt, which yeah. was kind of weird in American but culture. But you can pull but. it off. I mean, nowadays, it's be hipster. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, talk about pulling. I mean, yeah, he's got the grandparents who are going to be asleep. He's got the coolest room in town. I mean, this guy would be pimping. I, I seen a meme one time, and we'll see how factually correct it is. But uh, Hey Arnold took place, I guess, in like the 70s or so in New York City. And they're saying that Stewie Griffin from Family Guy was a descendant, that the true father of Stewie Griffin is Arnold because that <laughs> happened in the 80s. Stewie was born in the late 90s. So that could be his child there. But that's neither here nor there. We're moving to the top two now. So first, Doug, actually at five, four Rugrats, three Hey Arnold, two South Park. So South Park's probably my all-time favorite animation, cartoon, television show. I think it's just been intelligent for a lot of lot of lot of years, but late 90s it debuted in 97, didn't really hit its stride till the early 2000s and in, in seasons 5, 6, 7, 8. That's when they started getting Emmy nominations and really making South Park what it was. So what they started it, and I was probably too young to really be watching South Park in 1997, 98, but nonetheless, that laid the foundation of my sense of humor, my life perceptions and a lot of stuff through South Park. But number one, the heavyweight champ of all cartoons, if not definitely the 90s cartoon, that's The Simpsons, like Bart Simpson, Homer now. As a kid, I would I I would look and see like, okay, how Bart acts, that's how I would act, be a little shithead at times as, yeah. as we were as kids, as, as teenagers. But now I get to rewatch it with my daughter through Disney Plus, and I love Homer Simpson. He is one of the greatest characters in American history. I think the three most recognizable uh, faces in American culture was Santa Claus, Darth Vader, and Homer Simpson. Whatever stat that was, I, I promise you it's a real thing. I've seen it on the internet. Just trust me on I this. believe it. I believe it. It sounds, it sounds like it hits the metrics. Yeah, so everything. Simpsons debuted in 1989. They really hit their stride throughout the 90s, and the fact that they are still running new episodes 33, 34 years in, South Park and Simpsons are the heavyweight champs of animation, and I've always been a fan of these various shows, so... There's my power five. Number one, Simpsons. Number two, South Park. Number three, Hey Arnold. Number four, Rugrats. Number five, Doug Funny. 
I really like that power rankings. I really do. Um, I'm really there on a lot of them, right? Especially the first three. I was a Nickelodeon kid at that same time. Um, so I had like honorable mentions. I was like, man, because I'm thinking, I'm like thinking of all these shows. I was like, damn, I can't put them all together. So it was like, all right, let me pick my favorite of that Nickelodeon era from that time. Um, but I had an honorable mention for the Rugrats just because of the creativity behind how the kids were creative in the show. Hey Arnold, just because of those characters, like you yeah. mentioned. But I ultimately went number five with Doug. It was a classic for me growing up. Honestly, I still find myself randomly humming that tune. Do, 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 do. Always. Dude, I've been doing that at work. I was, shout out to Mike Spear for knowing I was humming that randomly the other day at work. And he was like, what you know about that Doug? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. All right. I didn't know if I was hitting it right, but I obviously was. But just the names, dude. Like you said, Skeeter Valentine, yeah. Roger Klotz, <laughs> Patty Mayonnaise. Yeah. I mean, come on. I had a fan. I had a friend, Patrick Dawson, growing up, and for some reason, we randomly started calling him Patty Mayonnaise. So. Was it Chalky Studebaker? Wasn't yeah, he Chalky one of them? Chalky Studebaker was, was the homie, guy. too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they just had money names, and it's just, it's just hard to forget names like that. So that one's sticking with me. Yeah, for sure. Number four. Um, honorable mention to go along with this is South Park. I didn't pick South Park because I probably didn't start watching it until the early 2000s. Um, when it got the buzz, like you yeah. kind of said, it really started yeah. hitting its stride. Um, and I love South Park, and that's kind of where I feel like a lot of the great comedy that we got out of, like, the super bads, the wedding crashers, and yeah. those kind of Napoleon Dynamites. Those guys were South Park kids, and that's yeah. how they came out with those classic that's movies for us. That's a great way to, to paint the picture. That, of that's that. what I that's what I thought of, like how important South Park was, because it just it just sculpted the youth to be able to make those classic humor comedy movies once they got older. We had um, all those movies that came out, the R rated comedies from 06, 07, 08, 09, and it's just so just many of them. Hammering them. And that's exactly along the lines of what eight years after yeah. South Park really started hitting. I'll be forever disappointed because of that because you'll never see that kind of run from like Will Ferrell and the Napoleon Dynamites and all these different the movies Vaughn that were coming era up. Of comedy. Yeah, the Vince Vaughns and it, it, like it's it's never going to be able to hit that consistently. You might sprinkle one in no, here, one in there. Comedy's but different now. Yeah, you just, can't it's, get away it's with different. it. Yeah, it's different. Um, but so, South Park can. They have like that golden ring of they could say whatever they want about true human beings in a animated series yeah. and, and they, they, they don't catch it. no flack for it. I think the cartoons are a thing, right? Cause you yeah. hide behind the cartoons. Um, but I'm going with that number four as Beavis and Butthead <laughs> because Beavis and Butthead to me now, granted it wasn't like the most funniest cartoon. It was just kind uh. of, it was just kind uh. of like, it was kind of like another thing that started those comedies from the early two thousands. I'm sure they were watching those too. And thinking of this, it was just, it was just dumb comedy and nothing says nineties more than music video so i remember staying up late yeah like uh, being like my parents would go to bed and i'd be like watching tv i'm supposed to not watch past time x yeah. and it's like i'm gonna stay up and watch beavis and butthead and it was incredibly stupid like the actual episodes didn't have much character to them but then they play some Ugh. random like <laughs> rocks mu rock music video and they'd be sitting on the couch doing that and i mean and then you still think of like all the random sayings like cornholio and all these random yeah. things the movie the movie the, the movie Beavis do america yeah. was really it good was great. yeah so i have to throw beavis and butthead in there and it's mainly just because that like just embodies the 90s to me do you know they're making new episodes of Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, it came back. They're it coming out back. tonight after South Park. It's on Comedy Central now. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's the Mike Judd produced. He's back in it doing it, and it comes out at 1030 after the new uh, season of South Park Dope. premieres. Look at that. See, I'm telling you, like, to me, they're they're Setting like, people up. They're, one in, they're one and two right there um, as far as, like, that type of comedy. Yeah. Um, number three for me, Animaniacs, okay? I can never forget the iconic song where it starts. I thought it's so cool coming out of the Warner Brothers uh, water tower. Yeah. And then what I liked about the Animaniacs is like you got multiple shows in one. It was like the beginning of like sketch comedy, right? Yeah, it was like, like a Dave Chappelle episodes or something. Yeah, it was like a Dave Chappelle show of of cartoons. So you got like a Pinky in the Brain, you got uh, Animaniacs yeah. with with Waco and Yako doing something crazy. <laughs> and then like so you got multiple shows that you got to watch and to me that was cool. You know, you got to feel like you got the jam three shows into one show um pinky and the brain was pinky great. and the that brain was, was always my favorite you know what are we gonna do today pinky um <laughs> but number two i'm coming in with the simpsons okay? Okay, okay to me i think it's to me i think it's a thread in the fabric of america at this point right True. i mean you 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 really think about the action 
accuracy and timing of their episodes with what they talk about. Like it's real time. Like they are writing the episodes to what's going on in America, right? It's yeah. truly written to the moment. Um, and I, I really appreciate that. And I, that, that to me adds value and it shows worth in like the directors and the crew putting that show together. If you ever seen like any documentaries on the Simpsons, like they broke down barriers that America was afraid to have these conversations about in real life conversation or on the news. It would be such a tense subject, but then uh, Simpsons would go through it in the subject matter of the Simpsons. And it's like, oh, I guess it's not that bad. Yeah. So they were able to make like really mend America and grow because the 90s were a crazy time with mm -hmm. technology and Internet coming in, in abundance and. Um, how many times have we said, oh, Simpsons predicted this? How many different instances in our world nowadays does the internet remind us that, oh, this was in a Simpsons episode? Because yeah. people get the idea from the Simpsons, I think. Because yeah, they're, they're like, they're bridging those gaps, you know what I mean? And yeah. they're like, they're like you said, they're doing things that we are just thinking about. They're showing it. And I think it's really cool that they've been doing it with like the same core of 20 characters yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Like they'll sprinkle in, they'll sprinkle in uh, President Trump, they'll sprinkle in uh, President Biden, or they'll sprinkle in uh, Joe Montana or Joe Namath or yeah. Peyton Man, whatever's going on in, in the world that's funny right there that they can play on. They'll sprinkle those characters in, but they've done it with the same core twenty characters, and that's have, really cool. Do you have a me. favorite character outside of the immediate family? Which one sticks out? I mean, it's hard to be like this is the best, but which is the character that you're always like that guy or that person? To me, I've always thought like without Krusty, the show wouldn't be the same. To me, like Krusty the Clown is like one of them, um, and then I'm. His name's slipping me right now, but the janitor from the school. Oh, Willie. Willie, yeah, yeah Willie. Groundskeeper so, Willie. Yeah, groundskeeper Willie is always always clutch oh, I, for me, too. Uh, How about you? Chief Wiggum always oh, stood yeah. out Chief Wiggum, hell yeah. so incompetent. Uh -huh. But on top of Chief Wiggum, like, ask my friends. As a kid, I loved Ralph Wiggum, his son. Like, yeah. The little stupidity uh -huh. of everything that he would and do. And his voice is awesome. Yeah. So, so the Wiggums, I guess, is yeah. my favorite. The Wiggum uh, family, couple. okay. I dig that. Uh, Apu, too. I, yeah. I, I guess, never mind. There might be some issues nowadays with Apu and, and PC culture, but Apu yeah. was There's hilarious. issues with everything me. nowadays. But, yes, very exactly. True. It was a very hilarious character. Um, and to me, the Hollow Halloween tree house of horrors is just pure gold. Yeah. Yeah. Like I always, I always like, I might not watch Simpsons all year, but Halloween comes around yeah. and I'm like, Ooh, let's watch what the Simpsons came out with. So that's number two. Uh, without further ado, my number one X-Men oh, animated series from call. 92 to 97. This was the first series that I could truly remember me watching like as soon as it came out. Yeah. So I watched it from start all the way mm. through finish in 1997. I felt like they did a great job of depicting the actual true origins of X-Men. I loved it. I was, you know, I had all the comic books. Yeah. I would watch Action the show. Figures. I would literally wait for that show to come on. Yeah. You know, and there was like some honorable mentions too, like that led me up to that, I think, was my mom like playing reruns of Transformers and G.I. Joes. I was a little too young to actually watch them when they're, like, brand new. Yeah. Um, but I would watch those, and then the new X-Men would come on. Yeah. And uh, it was just money. Like, that was my 